uh, I've showed you in Pat, a newsletter last year, I showed you uh, <coughs> Hollywood's garden and uh, how he discovered the first time he went to till it, it's got rocks. And it was probably at some point gravel, gravel driveway. <coughs> anyway. The guy was going to build a building here and he, did, he died and I bought the place. So I, I dug this up where the building was going to be and all these gravels was in it. So I went ahead and planted my garden and it's done good ever since. And I put cow manure on it and I got goat manure on it this year and it's turned out real well. So he's got a seven foot fence around it. That's to keep the deer out. Keep the deer out. He's got a lot of wildlife out here. Uh, we just finished a ride on the country roads. But I wanted to show you. This is the first of June. Yeah, this is the first of June. And I've got I wanted to show you how, how good is. See my gravels, show them, show them the gravels. Yeah, you can see the gravels here. And you can see how this well, here's the onion. This is broccoli here. Broccoli. You've already put up how many bags of broccoli? Twenty some. Twenty some bags of broccoli. I've got broccoli here. And this is my squash and zucchini and my, and my beets and my cabbage and peppers and, and you come over here the first row was green beans, two rows of tomatoes, and five rows of corn. And it all seems to be doing real well this year. You see the beets here and the row of, row of green beans. And the nice thing about this is, is that a, a large a majority portion of their diet year round is either fresh out of here during the growing season or uh, they, they put it up and freeze it or they can it. They eat it all year. They eat it all year. But my corn's doing good. Got Look at the quality of these tomato plants. Started all them and again, this seed. is with goat manure. I'll start it by seed. Yeah, I'll start them with seed about the middle of uh, about the middle of April, and that's where they're at now. And this is the first of June. And then my corn, three rows of corn, and I got. I always put two more rows later where you have corn, different corn, different times. And we put all of it up where we can. And how much how much of this how much of this is from uh, recycled seeds from last year? That first row is. And the second row I buy the seeds and then plant them. They're hybrids and anything, but you know they're good good for canning the red yeah. tomatoes. But I got yellow stripes and then I got some I call Dolly Pardons. They're a real solid tomato. Then I got some of my dad's give me the seeds and I've been putting, we probably, you know, telling how old them seeds are from year to year. I've been doing it for about eight years and I, I got them from my dad and he and he had them for years and years. And they're an orange tomato, man. They're super, no acid. And uh, they're all real good for like eat, just eating. So by the, by the season's end, by how many bags of broccoli will you put up on average? Well, probably 40. 40 bags of broccoli. Yeah. Off of 10, 20 plants. 20 plants, 40. The thing about broccoli, you cut the, I'll, I'll go up and explain that to them. Uh, the broccoli, see right here, how big the head is here. Well, see, I'll cut this off. And then it, it looks like this, but you come down here and all the way around here, you got little heads are coming. And they'll do that and do that and do that and do that and do that until they get some worms, many worms. Start, they start. They have no. This garden does not have a bug in it, and it has not sprayed nothing. That's what's amazing is and when I walked it, around it's it. It's cool, but when it starts heating up, you'll see little white butterflies in there, and then you'll start having worms in your stuff. Then butter, butterflies is what causes it. But I don't have them yet, so I'm good. I got some cucumbers here. They they like hot weather, and we ain't had no real hot weather yet, so they're not doing. They'll come on, but they're starting to do better. But it, uh, it's one of my best, one of my better looking gardens at this time. I believe it's that goat manure. I haven't used none before. This is my first year. But I have, I used to grow gardens with, out of goat manure in North Carolina, but uh, I had never tried it up here. But see my green beans, they're starting to, starting to run. 
put these strings up here. They keep coming up and they'll run up them strings and I, they'll just be a big wall of green beans. <laughs> the, the tomatoes, they'll get this tall. They'll be this tall. I'll have to run all the way up him and I'll tie them up to these things. And last year, how many cans of sausage y'all can? Salsa? Yeah. Probably 90. 90 cans of salsa. Uh, how many How many quarts of tomato juice? Oh, 20 or 30. 30 probably. And then, uh, what else do we put up with? That's about it. Sauce and tomato juice. And then we eat them. And, and give them away. Everybody. Yeah, uh, I hate to see anything go to waste. The interesting thing about the the life the the lifestyle is uh, is he hunts and they eat lots of venison and then they get their beef uh, uh, like we do. Actually, our last beef we got together, but uh, their their blood work when they go to the doctor, their blood work is uh, is uh, high quality. But yet when they go eat in restaurants most restaurants the food makes them sick because their body from eating healthy their uh, body uh, doesn't process all the processed foods like those that eat out of the microwave and those that eat fast food and set down restaurants so there's something to be said just about growing and food. eating it the grease is grease not good not good for you Greasing anything, it's uh, uh, what they process, uh, they put, they put the stuff on them to preserve it, preservatives and stuff, they ain't good for you. Gourds. Gourds and more onions. Yeah. Uh, he started out thinking he was going to put a fire pit in here, and guess what? He decided he's going to put more food. And then down over the side down here, he just put this in recently. Well, take a picture from up here. It's, uh, uh, it's all berries berry bushes and and you got strawberries and cranberries not cranberries raspberries raspberry patch raspberries and strawberries and then down through here how old do you say your fruit trees are uh five to eight years old and yesterday, day before yesterday, the area beyond the fence right here, there was a deer that hopped the fence and got down in there. And uh, and yesterday we noticed that the deer was still in that area. Don't know if it couldn't get back across the fence or was trying to find a place to get out. And then on back here, he's, back see, he, my goat he's got his new babies. Got another thing going. He just finished building this building. This for, is my winter place. I keep my goats in the winter time. Keep them here in the small lot. And yeah, here in the small lot. Cause they don't have no, nothing to eat out there, and I'm afraid to eat my trees, bark off my trees. Cause they'll eat anything. And he just finished putting this rock uh, circle through here. Yeah. I built that. I built that here. Yeah. And then all this area we're walking towards he built. Put this, maybe this another goat barn. This is my winter stall. And I got hay up here. Put the tail up in here. Put a place to put my hay. Put about 80 bales up in here, believe it or not. And I hear them. Here they are. They're here to take pictures. And this is Molly and Hatchet. Molly Hatchet and, and, and Bentley and uh, Dodger. Bentley and Dodger. Hey, girl. Hey, what's up? What's the matter? Eat what have you been eating? Thistles? We act like it. <laughs> what you yakking about? You must have eaten McDonald's drive through I seen one out there that night there. That night over there, eating thistles the other day. They so, know what a thistle is. So when you look down over the side, you see how steep it is. And... They take care of the problem. Ten years ago... Ain't been that long. Well, you, ten years ago, ten years you ago, you couldn't see down through here. No, the them paralyzes you're looking at right there. Ten years ago, they run right into the woods. There was nothing open here. Ten yeah. years ago, when I first moved here, that, there was nothing. It was running right into the woods. There was no right of way. But they've cleaned it out, and then I, and I wind, you cleaned out a bunch of I wind, it. I wind, I wind it out from that right there over to there. <laughs> and then a boy went in there and cut them down, and then me and Kathy 
Me and Kathy got the wood off the hill. And then he got his his four babies here, and uh, <laughs> they're like uh, damn like they're human weed old. eater or uh, animal weed eater. Just like eaters. a dead burn bush, uh, just like a weed eater. Ain't you, Molly? Huh? Ain't and then you, down Molly? on the bottom, you can see his pond, and uh, it's stocked full of fish. And uh, oh, what's something I wish we could ride? I'll ride you down there. Right. After we can eat, see, I'll ride uh, you down. The uh, where you put in a, a uh, kind of a dock area, it's got a setting area down there, and then down below that, there's a nice shaded area if you want to take a picnic down there. And then looking out across, you I'm can see you that dock better, Boots. I built that dock, and the pond was already full of water. I had to build that dock over the water, it was fun. The piers was there. I built the piers and I'll come down to your house. When I come back, the pond was full of water and I had to build a deck on top of reach out there and everything was, I was working out over the water all the and time. How deep did you tell me it was? 12 foot. It's 12 feet, mm -hmm. straight off the bank. You drop in the water, you're over your head. You step in that water, straight down. And then when you look straight out across, you said you can see as far as uh, the ski resort? Yeah, I there. see a certain angle. You follow that pot, get up there and look down that power line, it takes you back through there, you're looking at Winter Place. Which ski is resort. What, 30? 30 miles away. 30 miles mm -hmm. away. The next town in between here and there is uh, Beckley. Beckley. So you can come right here, I'll show you. You can't see it from here. But you can from up there, but we'll walk up there. You can see it from here. I'm not far from you. We have to go far to there. But, uh, so you can see my boat got good from here in the pond at a different angle. And he's way back there, that mountain way back there. That's Flat Top Mountain. Which is. Uh, That's what the ski resort's on. 3,000. About 3,500. Yeah, about 3,500 foot elevation. Which to go north from uh, southern West Virginia to go yeah, north on 77. You go right to it. Go right right across it and follow it and it'll take you through Beckley up to Charleston, the capital. And then uh, you can split and go, well actually in Beckley you can split on 64 <laughs> and take you through Lewisburg over to uh, Lexington, Virginia through Covington, Virginia. And then you can follow it on where uh, it merges with 81 and follow it across Virginia and up to D.C. Yeah. It goes over to uh, uh, Richmond. Yep, all yeah. the way to the coastline. So, and then 64 will go Charleston, Huntington, all over into Kentucky. Yep, right through here, here was the garden, and you can see this stone wall. He put all this in, 100 feet of it, uh, and the stone entryway they call this area the ridge living out on the ridge living the dream